San Diego, which is actually in San Marcos. Very bad advertising on that. Sarah and I are trying to find the, I don't know, it's supposed to be a thing that we're at in one minute and we can't find where it's at. <laughs> night before BWR and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even an Ellie. Ellie, it's time for bed. I can sleep over there. Okay, whatever. BWR, San Diego, starts tomorrow. 127 miles, a lot of climbing. Sarah said she'd make me a cue sheet. I'm not really a cue sheet gal. I like to play it by ear. I don't even know how many rest stops there are. Does it matter? I don't know. I've uh, actually pre-ridden a few of the sections and I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna be running my Kona Libre with 32 millimeter slick tires, air pressure, whatever I start with. Hopefully it stays in. I've been replacing a valve core on the same tire for three days, and I think I just need to replace the valve stem. But I didn't do that, and now I race in like 10 hours, so probably not gonna get around to it. Um, excited to race. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. I was acting like an anxious biatch all day today, which I think is a good sign. I think I'm going to race, meaning I'm not just going to ride. I haven't really had a racy mindset in quite a while, but maybe, maybe tomorrow's the day. Who knows? I have legs. I don't know if they're functioning. I have other parts of my body. Uh, they have a nice cushion in case I fall. That's important. And have a cute doggy that will be happy to see me at the end of the race, whether I win or lose. So that's exciting. You look possessed. Lady, can't you just let me sleep? Don't you see how tired I am? I went to the beach today. Oh, the beach is so exhausting. You sleep tight, little girl. It's race day. Isn't it race day? I just know it's really early on eating my nibbles. My leaky valve is still leaky. Ugh, ugh. We can't see that, but it's depressing. <laughs> the before 6 a.m. pun. Spinning out with not enough time. <sighs> Apparently there are six minutes until call-ups. There's no one to take my stuff. I ain't got no people.
captain's log. Entry number technically one, I guess. I was with a group. We started climbing. I was in second, maybe a minute behind Heather. I got dropped on the climb. I got passed by, I think, Whitney. I'm okay with this. We're a mile like 45 of 127. I burned a few matches. I'm gonna do the climb at my own pace. I might be solo for some trail descent. I'll probably make up a little bit of ground. You know, said I was gonna race the wind. So far that's happened. First 30 miles are usually my linchpin. I did well. Okay, bye. I think I'm in fifth or sixth now. A bunch of women passed me on a climb. I keep missing little groups. 60 to 70 miles in, 60 to 70 to go. I know I gotta be careful. I wonder how not flattering this angle is. All by myself. Keep losing group after group. Climb is only just now starting. Go home, Garmin, you're drunk. Oh my. Okay. Are ready for yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where's Paul? Matthew Liberty, Chris Woods, and then here comes. Sarah Max. Yeah, I beat Hi. you. You did beat me. I beat Sarah. She beat I'm me. really proud of it because we ride together and every time we ride together, I'm like, Sarah's so much more fit than me right now. <laughs> In fairness, I think I was very far ahead of you. And um, then we hit a climb. And then so you in up. fairness, you crushed the all the dirt. You were in second place at one point, I heard. I was in second place at and one point. You heard from me because I bragged. And then I did catch you on the climb. Yep. Um, Twice. You got me on two climbs. I guess I did. And we rode together for a long, long time, which I enjoyed. Yes, that was good. Um, I wouldn't have finished if not for that. I was really thinking about quitting. I knew that Becca was going to kill me again on so, the um, on the dirt. And so I decided before we hit more dirt that I would pee. And you know what? That might have might have cost me the you podium. Would've, you wouldn't have climbed with all that urine in I you. don't. I know I wouldn't have. And honestly, I'm not joking. It was the best pee I've ever had in my life. And it was worth it. I went full triathlete and I peed. I stood up and I peed on single track in my chamois. Never still wearing that it. chamois now. Yeah, Just so kidding. When you get Adrian fit, you're in the podium for a long time. And Redlands, when she you don't even get a step. Out to come race she here. Step. We are so appreciative of your commitment to Belgian Waffle Ride. <laughs> the triathlete and brings her bike to the podium. Step. Okay, so a fun fact about a burger a burger with a pepper on it. There's a saying in Belgium, ride like there's a pepper on your saddle. Why? Well, I don't know. It's like, like you gotta light a fire under your ass. Oh my God. It's like light a fire under I your ass. I wish I had a pepper today. I'm gonna put it under my saddle. Post-race ice cream. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but it uh, is. The tradition continues. 